this video on using a brother lace carriage is going to be quite difficult to do um, so I'm going to do it handheld, I do apologise um, I have a cast on strip I have done uh, one row of yellow ravel cord I have then e-wrap cast on and done two rows um, in the main yarn in main tension in the hem of my cast on strip I've put a metal pole for weight depending on your machine you'll select your lace pattern um, according to that machine this happens to be a brother 970 um, so uh, it will select slightly differently to anybody else's so bear with me Lace pattern is now selected on the machine. Lace carriage is on the far left. Main carriage is on the right. On the extension rail. You use your lace carriage until you're told otherwise. Now on a punch card, um, there's a turnaround arrows on other brother electronics i think a number two will come up in your window it comes up on mine but an easy way to remember um when to uh, stop using your lace carriage is when no more needles are selected and the lace carriage is on the left see some are being formed and there's still needles being selected so we'll keep going I seem to manage to pick one right as you can hopefully see there's no more needles have been selected and the carriage is on the left and I'm just going to check yes mine has come up with a window to say do two knitted rows so you knit two rows I'm trying to do this one hand but it's a little difficult two knit rows and then continue with the lace carriage have been selected two rows with the knit carriage let's hope there's less transfers on this So on I'll do a few more rows of camera there is a very small piece of the lace as you can see the reason with brother that you have uh, backwards and forwards with the lace carriage not on every one is there are multiple transfers in one row so it um, it does slightly more complicated lace 